It's really hot and I would love to get in there and have a swim, but I can't. This is North Queensland and it's Christmas holidays and in there is something that would do me a lot of harm if I came across one. I don't mean sharks, I mean those. Box jellyfish, or as they're known up here, the stingers. They're fairly lowly creatures in the animal kingdom, but for all of that, they can cause us enormous injury, and in fact, they've killed a number of people. They do it with those long, thread-like tentacles, which are covered by stinging cells. Now, they don't have those to do us harm. They are the way the jellyfish has of capturing its prey. But if it bumps into a little fish like this and the fish hits the tentacle, it'll be stung and probably killed and then eaten by the jellyfish. The trouble is for us, those tentacles with their stinging cells can do us the damage whether they're attached to the jellyfish or not. Some jellyfish will lose the tentacles, this one has, but somewhere in the ocean the tentacles are floating around with their stinging cells and if you bump one as a swimmer, it'll still sting you. I can't show you the stinging cell, but I can show you a model. And it's rather like this. They have a bladder of poison, that's the stuff that does you the damage, darts that can stick into you, and a long thread which normally, of course, will catch their prey and hold it close while it's being stung. And this is a discharged one, it's been fired, but before they're fired, they're rather like this. The thread and the barbs are all wrapped up very tightly around the bladder, and that's packed into the stinging cell, which is known as a nematocyst. Let me blow up the balloon and show you the full nematocyst. Well, here we are. There's all the apparatus, and we're going to shove it into the balloon. And that's the way the jellyfish manufactures them into the tentacle. Like that, ready to go. And if you're a fish swimming past, or a swimmer swimming past, and you happen to knock the tentacle, this discharges by filling up with fluid, like this. And all the contents shoot out, and the barbs stick into you, and the thread grabs hold of you, and the poison empties into you, and you are stung. And so if you look at the jellyfish, you can see, down the tentacles, a certain sort of knobbly appearance, and those knobbles are the nematocysts.